Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing a brand new release, Home Theatre Amplifier from Yamaha, the RXV 6A. This wonderful new Home Theatre Amplifier features 4K and 8K HDMI support, HDMI 2.1. It's part of Yamaha's already hugely well respected music cast streaming format. It'll do Spotify, Tidal, Deezer, it'll stream music off your phone. It's AirPlay, uh, AirPlay 2. It's got every feature you would want for a modest sized living room and it's wonderfully affordable. So, let's have a look. Uh, Yamaha's packaging, I mean nowadays the whole top is about compliance, I mean look at that. It does feature, of course, uh, logos associated with uh, Dolby Vision, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Apple AirPlay, Spotify, um, Tidal, Deezer, Amazon Music, Wi-Pow microphone setup, as well as the Cinema DSP 3D. I guess the big thing is again Music Cast. Music Cast has become a global phenomenon really within Yamaha's range. Uh, able to support all manner of different streaming things, but within a very easy to use app. So your smartphone, all of those things become a glorified remote control and it's wonderful, it's easy. So great to see that they've implemented it again in all of their new models. Right, the box. Well on one side we've got a full colour sticker label. Uh, the other end of course, model and serial number and scan information and of course a bit of courier information to get it here. Basic muted design for Yamaha. Getting into this really, really easy. It's um, sealed with uh, packing tape, so a few nicks and we're in. The packaging itself is polystyrene. There's four pieces. The first thing to remove is the AAA batteries. That's for the remote control and a piece of polystyrene. Physically sellotaped to the other piece of polystyrene is a, uh, an information sheet. Now this particular one is highlighting how important it is to keep the software up to date on these models. Clearly with the shipping, you know, the time involved in shipping, uh, there's no way that um, they can release these products with the latest version of Spotify, the latest version of Tidal, and the latest version of all the video compliance. So they encourage you immediately to look for and update the software. We've got a plastic bag with accessories. Now in here we have, um, okay, so there's a, an FM and DAB aerial. Uh, there's a slip about Spotify. There's a basic printed manual, although most of the information is available online to ensure that the manual can be maintained and updated electronically. There's also international contact details should you have a warranty claim and all sorts of things on there. Uh, next is Yamaha's Wipow mic. Now this microphone again cements Yamaha as one of the absolute leaders as far as the ability to tune this home theater amplifier to sound good in your room, driving your speakers effortlessly. Uh, no longer having to fiddle around with measurements and other things like that, simply place this at approximately ear level, approximately in the seating position, plug it in, the menu immediately goes, hey, you want to do your setup? Hit OK. Done. It's easy, it's simple, it alerts you if you've got a problem, it alerts you if you've wired something incorrectly, it alerts you if you've got some weird anomaly. It's a brilliant way of doing things. So, congratulations Yamaha. Right, lastly in the polystyrene, we've got uh, Yamaha's remote control. Now this is a basic plastic remote. I guess as most people are now using their smartphones to control these things, and the app's excellent. This uh, rudimentary design is uh, what you would expect. It's worth mentioning that of course it's got a switch at the top for main and zone 2, implying that this amplifier is capable of driving a separate zone uh, somewhere else in the home if required. Next of course is the scene buttons and that's pretty cool. Uh, Yamaha has global presets and uh, they, they call them scenes but you can, you can get this to do absolutely anything, everything. You can get it to turn off the subwoofer. You can have a music mode where all the speakers are going. You could maybe just set one up for the radio. Uh, 
so a simple button press and it turns on and runs the radio. It's wonderful to see this simple feature in a basic amplifier like this. There's a few other color coded buttons. Uh, input selection is gray and volume is white. So even in a basic model like this, it's good to see that they've put some thought into its remote control. It's worth mentioning that once the batteries are in it, it actually sits nicely in the hand as well. So again, uh, a good sort of thumbs up for Yamaha for a basic remote that's been well thought out. Taking the amplifier out of the box is relatively straightforward. At this point, there's nothing else from an accessory perspective left in the box. So we get rid of it. We start to have a look at the amplifier itself. Like everything from Yamaha, it is protected by this sort of uh, soft bubble paper. It ensures that the product can't get scratched or damaged in transit, and it's pretty straightforward as far as getting rid of it. The amplifier itself is a departure in design from previous models. The first thing you will see, of course, is a central volume control. And it's quite obvious as far as how it's changed from having a traditional volume control on one side and input selector on the other. It's also, if I tilt it forward, they've added a curve. And please hang around for some photographs. We'll take close-ups of all of this and you'll get a good look. There's also cross-hatching instead of traditional ventilation slots. The front panel is now also a touch-sensitive one, eliminating the need for uh, clumsy buttons or potentially dust traps associated with uh, traditional plastic buttons. The front, obviously a Yamaha logo and the curved front that I mentioned. Across the front we've got touch sensitivity associated with controlling zones and flicking between them. A pure direct to turn off all of the processing. You've got scene 1, 2, 3, 4, again touch sensitive, and then the ability to have control uh, menu and connect functions associated with the touch sensitive sensitivity. This is a rotary encoder, now that allows for all manner of things and navigation through its setup, as well as input selection, you name it all from this one simple elegant rotary encoder. It's a good simple click associated with enter, and it can be used for selection, etc. Obviously, no points for guessing, the uh, rotary encoder centrally is the main volume control. Over to one side is the main uh, display screen. It's dot matrix, it's actually really full featured to be honest. Beneath that front curved facade we've got a, a, a toggle for standby. We've got a USB input. This will also charge basic devices and it's 5 amp 1, uh, sorry, 5 volt 1 amp. The Y power mic that we've spoken about plugs in the front, it's a specific input sp uh, for it, and then you've got a headphone output which is six and a quarter, wonderful for streaming music or silent cinema if required. Over the other side of course we have the model number emulation which is the RX-V6A. Tilting it forward we'll see that it's a relatively compact design, it's not very deep. It's a traditional width but it doesn't need to be large. This is a 7.2 amplifier, it's about 150 watts of screaming one channel. It's uh, 100 watts uh, when running in stereo, which gives you an implication of its um, ability to control the load. It's certainly not designed to fill an auditorium with the largest of speakers, but it will easily couple with most of the speaker loads you may use domestically. It's not very deep as I mentioned, and again the cross hatching for ventilation. It's at the back that we start to see some of the features. The first and most obvious as I bring them up is the dual Wi-Fi aerials. This supports 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Uh, it also supports rear uh, speakers, wireless speakers in the MusicCast range, the, uh, w, the MusicCast 20 rears. Tilting up, we see a couple of features that are now present in this model which the lesser ones don't have. We've got the ability to trigger external devices through our virus 12 volt trigger. We've got the two aerials as I mentioned. We've got a single HDMI output and three 4K slash 8K inputs. And then an additional four for the legacy products which may be either 4K low frame rate or 1080. Of course it will also support basic products that are 720 like your Sky Dakota. Beneath the aerial we've got a single optical and a single coaxial input clearly labelled and these can be allocated to any of the inputs should you require them. There are three traditional analogue inputs and with this model we have a good phono preamp 
along with a ground. There is a pre-out for zone 2, and there are pre-outs for both the left and right front speakers, should a power amplifier be used, and two subwoofers. It will run in its setup the ability to run either a single front and a single rear or dual front subwoofers if required. It's got a network socket and beneath it an FM DAB aerial socket. And of course the second one here. There's a fixed power cord and beneath it some information about the voltage requirements. There is a simple enough uh, line drawing associated with how to connect the bare speaker wires to the post. And, of course, as you see, the ability to run a second zone, um, either via 7.1 output or zone 2. Then there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 binding posts associated with its home theatre. If I understand correctly, if you're running 7.1 in a single room, and you want to run some outdoors, it will temporarily shut off the speaker too, and allow you to run uh, music outside, and then, of course, turn it on, turn it off, I should say, and it'll run 7.1 again. Uh, the amplifier is a good look and feel, it's well built. It's not very heavy, I mean it's, it's not exactly the most prestigious, but wonderful, wonderful performance for its price. So there we go, the Yamaha RXV6A, brand new release, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. <laughs>